In this video, I'll show you how to create a handy countdown card in Home Assistant. I personally find this card incredibly useful for tracking the remaining cleaning time of my washing machine. And here is another example where I've used a similar countdown card. But this time, I'm using it to display the time it takes to warm up my car in the morning. To get started, you'll need to install a couple of custom cards from Hacks. All links are in the description. To make this countdown card work, you'll need some sensors that provide the data you want to display. In my case, my washing machine gives me remain time data, which I'll use as an example. As always, you can find the complete code on my website. Start by creating a new empty card, then create a vertical stack and card card, and place a button card inside it. Connect this card to your sensor with the entity tag and give it a name, label, and icon. Next, we'll add some style to the card based on the state of the washing machine. In this example, I'll make the background green when the machine is on and red when it's off. Once we've got the styling in place, I'll set the value to later. If this was a bit quick, feel free to pause the video here. Now I will try to make the card look a bit nicer. When using button card, we can style and position each individual element separately by using simple CSS code. The way I do it here is just one way of doing it, and you should really play around with these values to customize it like you want. In an upcoming video, I will show some more advanced styling where I use grids to position elements. But for now, this is good for this card, especially since I am making everything in my dashboard mobile friendly. As opposed to other Home Assistant cards, Button Card uses JavaScript to display text and information. This can be a bit tricky to understand. In my example, I will show some text if the machine is off and some other text if the machine is on. I'll show this code in a separate window so you can see it a bit better. Feel free to ask questions in the comments and I will do my best to help. I then use the developer tools to test if my code is working correctly. I use a website called colorhunt.co to discover appealing color combinations. You can search for colors like red and green and find a palette that suits your taste. Afterwards, just copy the RGB code into your card settings. If you want to tone down the intensity a bit, you can change it to RGBA and add a fourth number between 0 to 1. Don't hesitate to experiment with different values to ensure it looks just right. Moving on to the last step, let's add a progress bar to our card. This progress bar will provide a visual indication of how much time is left until the washing machine completes its cycle. To accomplish this, add the timer bar card to our stack of cards. The timer bar card comes with built-in support for my LG washing machine making it easy for me. However, if your device isn't built in, you can refer to the documentation on GitHub and you should be able to create a progress bar even without the built-in support. You can see that I've added my washing machine as an entity and used the initial time data as the duration attribute. Other than that, I've set the layout to full row, text width to 0px, and the bar height to 50px. This will make the progress bar cover the whole width of our card and remove all the text. I didn't really like the background color that we added earlier, so I just removed it. And there you have it. Our countdown card is now complete. I hope you found this tutorial useful, or at the very least, I hope it gave you some inspiration for what is possible to create with button card and timer bar card. If you have any questions, ideas, or feedback, please don't hesitate to share them with me in the comments below. Thanks for watching.